what were you thinking, basically? Do you know what? It was, um, it was five o'clock in the morning. It was in a bar. Uh, it was from a very childish, silly thing that we were doing. We were singing Disney songs. We were singing Lion King. We were acting it out. We were singing Jungle Book. And then we went on to Aladdin. And I was like, we need a magic carpet. And my friend got one off the wall at the hotel. Um, and then that's when things just went a bit too far. Um, you know, we kind of strayed off course on what we was doing on the evening. It, you know, and that's, you know, the actions that took place is what I'm The problem to deal now, with now, though, of course, social media, and you, you filmed it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I filmed it on my friend's phone, um, and then we sent that into a group chat with, with people that I thought were friends, um, and then it ended up being sent to the sun. Um, but listen, that behaviour might be acceptable in a drunken teenager. But you're not a teenager, are you? How old are you? I'm 27 years old. Well, isn't that the behaviour of someone 10 or 15 years younger? Do you know what? Like, it's, it's been such a, a crazy year, and I haven't really had a chance to act like a, an idiot mm. after Rio Olympic Games. And it was a time when I was at my best friend's wedding. You know, all my friends and family were there, and in a place where you think you're safe and you can, can perhaps I, be a bit can of an I idiot. Just Say, Lewis, I mean, we're not here to attack you, but what I will say, which I find quite disturbing about the video and just a bit strange, is you are mixed race, you're a person of colour yourself, mm. so I know you've experienced racism yourself at some point. Yeah, I sure. have, and I know that you have. And you know it's one of the most painful things you can go through. So I just find it bizarre at what point would you think it was okay to do that? Even if your friend pulled the mat off? Well, I think, I think it's Just important to know who that... who understands it... What I did wasn't racist. Well, and I'm not condoning it? my actions. What I did was very offensive and mocking Islam and the Muslim community um, is, is... Well, is, it's xenophobic is, is, is very bad. and prejudice, mm. for but sure. But it, it's, it's, it's certainly not racist. And like you said, like, I've experienced racism myself. I've grown up in a, a very Caucasian council estate uh, place when I was young. Yeah. And I was at the receiving end of racism, and it's something that I do not condone. Well, mo but you've, you've, had, you've had death threats as well, haven't you, Lou, as well? Have, yeah. Uh, to me, yeah. my family, um, you know, to friends, anyone that's kind of been but linked obviously, to me. obviously, I've known you now for four years. We've become really good friends here, and, and I know how you feel, and, you've, you know, you spoke to me privately, and, you know, yeah. you are a good person. I can vouch for this guy. He's a good, good person. <laughs> as a friend as well as being on this show is, you know, you mentioned this year, but in the four years, you know, you had the Strictly, you had the Rio, you know, you had the, the gorgeous girlfriend in the public eye. Do you think all this fame has a little bit gone to your head and you got wrapped up in it all? If you, if, you know... I mean, I wouldn't say it's gone to my head. I mean, I'm just living my life. Yeah. Um, but you're living your life in the public eye uh, yeah. and you're posting stuff on social media. Yeah, but even, even when I'm not living my life in the public eye, it finds its way into the public eye. But Things you, that I you were that boy at the gym private. who, you know, trained all, all your life for that, for that medal that you yeah. got, you know, representing your country. And then all of a sudden, you're all over the papers and, you know, you are a role model in that yeah. sense. And, and, and that's, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm so ashamed of my own actions. Okay. Yeah. Um, because... So you are ashamed of the video? Oh, 100%, yeah. What well, has your... I know you're so close to your mum. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. How's your mum been about it, what she said? It's, um, it's difficult because... Like, my, I, I look up to my mum. You know, she's, mm. she's done such a... And she did a great job with you. Yeah. And that's, I mean, why, that's yeah. why it's so hard. Yeah. Because so do you feel I like, feel like I'm down? a reflection of, of, of how, how she's brought me up. Mm. Forever I've known and Lewis. It, it's it's, it's so hard to... to, to I, I probably spoke to my mum about it for about two minutes. Because cause I, 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 I said to her, I'm very sorry for what I've done. Um, you know, and it's just, it's just so hard to talk to those people that, you, that believe in you and... and I want to ask you a little bit about Rio, mm. because <clears throat> I saw you on the podium crying and uh, when you won the silver and your teammate Max won the gold, and that attracted a lot of comment, negative comment in the press, and people thought, well, he's a bit of a spoilt brat. Why mm. can't he just shake the other guy's hand? And, you know, we do expect sportsmen are here representing, you know, a, 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 the Olympics, representing the country. We do expect a certain kind of behaviour from them. I mean, what would you say now about that? I did shake his hand. You did? Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't shown because they went back to the Russian guy who was competing. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I did shake his hand. So and it's interesting because yeah. the lead up into, into me coming here, all the articles were from the same newspaper. Yeah. Uh, that article was from the same newspaper. Yes. And the editor of the showbiz section at The Sun has just released another 
statement saying, you know, Lewis asked for copyright approval, so that's why we didn't do so, the interview with The Sun. So, so like, so, there is a bit of a vendetta so, going on, but so, I did... Talk, Lewis, I did talk to Max. I did congratulate him and his coach. But they're saying, because of what's happened, that this could impact your career and that you may not be able to compete again. I know. So what are you going to do to solve this? I mean, in terms of that aspect, I mean, there isn't much I can do. I mean, what I, what I want to do is, mm. is to reach out to, to people that have reached out to me. You know, I've had so many messages on Facebook, uh, whether it's been from local, uh, from the Muslim community, um, national. Do you want to apologise to the Muslim community? Yeah. I do, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I, I've done well, that, I and I want, to, I, want to, I want to try and rebuild the respect and the trust, because so many people say, you know, we looked up to you and we, yeah. we've supported your All career. All the kids that have followed yeah. you. Yeah. Well, Lewis, yeah. can I just say, I want to thank you for coming Very on today. Very brave. Really brave. Thank you for having me. I think you could have just turned it back to me. Before, I've got boys your age and they do things that I go, you know, that was ridiculous. It's all a learning curve. I wish you well. You know, thank you. and um, I, mean, right. I, I just, I just want to say, like, my actions, yeah. like... Thank you, Lewis well. Smith. If you've enjoyed that, then why not click here for more? And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here so that you never miss out on the best Loose Women moments.